Hey there. Today I'll be giving you a little tour of iOS 6 Beta 1 uh, for my iPad 2. Let's see what's new on it and just a little uh, hangout through the uh, through the OS so you can see what you're going to get when the actual version ships out. So let's begin by the first application message messages. So I haven't set it up just yet, but I think this is pretty much the same as you've been used to. You want to send a message? Uh, you just type in the number. Just put a sample one. Same stuff as usual. Attachments. No, I think nothing has changed. You can use photo from your photo stream folder, whatever you need. All that stuff. Nothing has changed. Okay, so next up, uh, let's go to FaceTime. You know, FaceTime, just a camera app, list of contacts, all that stuff. Nothing changed. Photos app, you have photo stream, same stuff. Nothing has changed a bit. Uh, just pictures and stuff like that. You can share. This is the new options of sharing. This is this is new. This wasn't here before. As you can see now, they've added a couple more options. You can share instead of just Twitter. You can uh, you can share on Facebook, and this uh, thing Wave or whatever that is. I don't know if that's that Chinese uh, social network they were talking about. You can also set it as a wallpaper right right from that screen. Uh, you can also print or copy the thing to your uh, clipboard so you can paste it out on iMessages or any other document that you're using. Let's try and copy them. See if we can see anything new. The camera app hasn't changed a bit. I think this bar has changed a little bit. They moved this to the side so that it's easier to press. Not much in here. It's the same old quality camera on the iPad too. Yeah, and you can reverse the thing. You have options. You can choose the grid thing, which I think was here before. Never actually used this. What else do we see here? Let's go to the maps app. Here, I have a lot of talking to do. So, this is what I hate about the new maps app on the iPad, too. As you can see here, this is where I am right now. As you can see, there's nothing around. See, I'm not, I don't live in the United States. But uh, Google Maps used to do a very good job on the maps in my city. Even though we're not the United States, I live in the Dominican Republic. But my maps up there, it works, it used to work good. I could use it for directions and stuff like that. And, and it worked very well in this country. I can do it. And uh, just to show you some contrast to how things look different. And this is something, you know, because people in, in the States are benefited through, because of this change from Google Maps. But in my case, this is not the situation. So just to show you, I'm going to show you uh, uh, Google Maps and my phone from the same place you're seeing here. Look at the difference. And tell me this is not, this is not a good thing see here this is the United States let me go to my location right so let me just switch okay let's see what happens now watch it see this old little dot that here shows pretty much nothing other than land because I think Apple doesn't care about the people who live uh, overseas they just care about their main customers in the United States and look at the contrast here. And this is going to be the situation for a lot of people out there. Uh, they're using TomTom. TomTom Tom. Tom, Tom doesn't work in this country. And uh, neither uh, Bing Maps, which I think is backing up their technology as well. So if you see here, if you're in the United States, you're good. Check how it goes. It looks pretty cool. So you see, this is really nice. And um, and you can have the 3D view. You see the little button down here. Just press it, and you see the change of view. Uh, if you want to use the 
you can go to the satellite view which is a little better let's you have a, like a little you see you get this uh, 3d view and some places at the city is say the Statue of Liberty let me, let me go there so you can actually see it it's a lot better because you see the actual island I really know how to deal with this I'm not that good with this 3d thing I don't really know how to use it much, to be honest. Well, well, you get a view of the city in 3D. That's as much as you get. So here we go. Let's give it some time so that it loads up. I don't know if it's not working properly here, but it should. From what, they, from what they said on the presentation yesterday. You know, it's a pretty good, cool feature, but still, the fact that we're losing the ability of having a usable maps application overseas kills that they showed Paris, they showed a couple countries, you know, those mainstream countries, but us here and the all lost countries of the world, I think we're left out on this one. I just hope that you know, Google comes up with a Google Maps app that's really good. As good as the other one or even better, but turn by turn and all that. So the next one is YouTube. I don't think nothing has changed here. Pretty much the same. You get the video views and all that stuff. I don't think there's no there are changes in here. Next up, this is new. There was no clocks app on the iPad. And they started including it in uh from this version and on as you can see you get the timer options just like the regular iPhone but with a different interface you get the stopwatch same same stuff for a bigger screen you get the alarms which I think are pretty cool you can add one uh, just set this one and then you get an alarm with a little nice schedule here and um, we go world clock you get this view of the planet and you can add your different uh, clocks up on top here so you can see the times in different uh, places, okay? Uh, that's all about clocks. And you get photo booth, it's the same. I don't think there are any changes done to calendar. I think this is pretty much the same standard view you used to see before. Contacts, same stuff. And uh, you get notes. I think Notes has gotten the new ability of uh, having pictures handled in it. And uh, let me just confirm that to you guys. Let's go photos. Let's just copy this picture. See what happens. Let me see. I think the Notes app on the Mac is the one that actually does copy paste. So I think, yeah, you guys have the same thing. You can't use images in here. So nothing new reminders uh, I don't remember I don't recall seeing a reminders happen this thing before I think this is new and this uh, they are syncing it with the new Mac OS that's coming out the uh, mountain lion they spoke about yesterday and you get this regular newsstand I don't have anything in there the app store I think there are some changes to the structure of the app store I haven't actually checked it. Yeah, there, there is actually many changes. All this for me. So as you can see here, um, the apps are a little better. You see, you have this nice um, cover flow like uh, ads for different apps or like recommended by Apple. And you get this nice view. It looks a lot much better than it used to be before. I like the changes in the App Store. I hadn't checked, I hadn't seen this before. And you actually get a view of the books. Oh, sweet. So, uh, you get all the apps that works uh, that work with books. And you get the, ad, the, uh, the categories for the apps are on top of the thing. And you can just choose them. If you don't see the one you want to get, you just go to more, and they're all there. Say you don't want to go medical, which is not a mainstream, just find it here and more, and you open it. 
I guess this will change a little bit before that it actually gets released and you get the top charts it's a little different top, see I, I like it a lot better it looks a lot better than that gray that used to be there before genius genius they have genius for the app store I think they spoke about this but I don't remember um, seeing it before I don't know I've never used that okay so that was it on that app on the app store you get the game center is the same stuff the settings menu um, is kind of the same stuff you go settings and you see they, they added a little uh, separators on the menus so you can actually see different stuff separate them and you get the do not disturb option that stops uh, stops uh, notifications from coming in which is a really nice when you don't want to get those noises at night you just turn it on and, and you see this little icon that comes up on top of the screen with a little uh, uh, little moon in there so you see that it's on sleep mode um, the rest of the stuff is pretty much the same you get general about the same stuff just showing you here I don't want to review any of that information but if you see you get the iOS 6.0 and you get the build I guess this is going to change a lot, this is a work in progress, this is the first beta it should change a lot in the, in the meantime and um, on the rest of the stuff uh, you get the uh, picture frame uh, I am missing a feature though I don't see here is that new accessibility thing they have let me see accessibility let me see they spoke about it that that limited access or something like that you could set it up so that the screen that doesn't get locked uh, doesn't change say you have a kid with a with a problem uh, and you want to use in a specific app you don't want him to go out of it you can set it up so that so that even if he presses the home button or he does anything uh, the, the, the iPad will stay at the same app okay so you go music the iTunes and the music app has changed a little bit. I don't have any music to show you now, but you see the little interface. They've changed a bit the, the way the buttons are. They used to be round and gray before. They're square buttons now. And you see, it's still looking really nice for the iPad. And you get the same video player and the stuff. I don't have videos in my iPad now. And uh, you get the same mail application. I don't think there are any changes in there. I'll have to check on that later. And then you get um, Safari, which is getting a lot of new features. This uh, iCloud tabs, it syncs with all your devices. You see this little button here? It'll find out uh, which, uh, which uh, websites you've opened in all your devices, and it'll keep track of them. And you have the sharing button here, which goes straight to Facebook or Twitter. You can even send it in a message or an email and uh, the reading list which is now added here you can see the whole menu here looks pretty nice um, not, I mean you have a lot of features I'll have to dig a little bit deeper into it so I can actually find them all and, and actually you know get advantage of the software right now things are looking good uh, and um, what to say it'll be, it'll be uh, a little improved thing I didn't like the most was the maps issues uh, I know a lot of countries will get benefited by this where they have monuments and stuff that all people go to but you know regular people like us you know Google Maps is open source like you can go in and edit your place and you can add new locations and name the streets and all that uh, right now uh, since this is a new project by Apple uh, the new apps the, the new maps app on the on the iOS uh, is gonna be messed up for some so again I hope Google fixes it uh, on that on their side releasing a new app that works good okay so this is a little review on iOS 6 uh, you know my name is Akimalito I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this I'm sorry because it's so little in a non-formal way but you know I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I got when I installed this I hope you guys like it. Goodbye.